uh, so excited on your law. I've been lecturing in University of London students for nearly a decade now. So in these presentations, I hope to go deep inside uh, certain areas of the LLB syllabus. And I hope you will start learning to appreciate the beauty of your University of London programs and start reading your textbooks, subject guides and other materials. The exams are coming up on me and this is a great opportunity for you to score well. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you will enjoy these videos. Thank you. In today's lecture, uh, students, we will focus on tort law. So what is tort law? Tort law means civil wrong. This is different from criminal law, where the focus is on criminal behavior. The focus of tort law is more of restitution, where focus of criminal law is rather punishment, social justice, etc. So when you look at tort, the biggest part of your tort syllabus would be the general negligence. There are four parts to general negligence. Duty of care, breach of duty of care, causation, and damages not being remote. So when you get a duty of care question, you look at C, whether it's a novel situation or whether it's a fixed situation. For example, do not put tests such as capital test etc if the duties are fixed for example driver getting into accident do not put caparo because we know that there are established precedent for this netership versus best time. doctor bolan bolito chest was up so you understand the reality is that whenever you are attempting a tort duty of care question realize whether it's a fixed duty or a now if it's another duty, you can put things like you can discuss Donald versus Stevens, you can go to Anne, then how Anne was too wide, it was overruled by Murray versus Brentwood, however, Anne was supported by cases such as Matt Clock versus O'Brien and cases such as um, Junior Books. Finally, how Murphy overruled all of that, then the current test of Lloyd Bridge, Caparo, sufficient proximity, reasonable foresight. Fair, just and reasonable. So you can think of Lord Bridge bridging all the views. The views of Lord Atkin in the case of Donoghue versus Stevens, and views of Lord Wilberforce in Anne's. So all of this was bridged together to Caparo. And there are new concepts such as assumption of responsibility, when especially when you're dealing with pure economic loss, etc. So understand the progression, especially if your exam question focus on a now, situation. Secondly, the breach has the defendant behavior being less than a reasonable person. Causation, but for test, then you have multiple causation. Your subject is great about multiple causation, so you can see an entire chapter on causation, multiple plus causes. And for remoteness, there is again a couple of pages. Start with Paul Miss and how Paul Miss was overruled by the Ragged Man. So that would be your flow for a general negligence question. There are other questions such as occupies liability. Again, figure out whether the, it is a lawful visitor or a unlawful visitor. If it is a lawful visitor, you apply the Occupy Liability Act of 1957. If it is an unlawful visitor, you apply the uh, Occupy Liability Act of 1984. Psychiatric injury, you focus on primary victim, secondary victim and you know often this differentiation between primary and secondary is almost outdated. Nuisance, you have private nuisance, which is linked to land, public nuisance, which is linked to the enjoyment of almost lives of Her Majesty's subjects. And you have the Ryan versus Fletcher, when you bring something foreign to your land and it escapes the land, you have vicarious liability when the worker or employee is a tort, the boss, the employer gets liable, provided three circumstances are completed. There's a tort visa, tort visa did the tort within the course of employment and obviously the tort visa has to be employed. Finally, you should also focus on areas such as pure economic loss. Pure economic loss is when you lose an economic interest without a physical interest being harmed. 
So there's economic loss which can be linked to physical realities. Pure economic loss can usually happen because A gives B a negligent misstatement or there's a negligent performance of service. This would lead to a pure economic loss. You should focus on the concepts of healthy bam versus health. Finally, you have a great case not this year. This case not this year focus on the doctor's duty versus the patient's rights. So I have a special video about this soon, right? So if you can connect all of this, you can score well in your TOSH answer. Thank you so much for your focus. I know we do these videos a little bit fast, but then again, replay, rewind, and look at all these little tips that we are giving to you. This is a free resource for you to learn and grow. Thank you so much. Enjoy the presentations.